Good afternoon. It's cold, isn't it? <laughs> Pay that bill. <laughs> okay, good afternoon. We're going to start with Sky Sports News and Dave in the middle there. Good afternoon, Frank. Afternoon. Thanks for your time. Um, can we start with Rhys James? What's the latest on his injury? Um, he's got a, uh, an injury to the back of his knee area. Um, not as bad as it could have been, or we thought, maybe thought. So he's uh, in contention for tomorrow, but it's going to be a tight call. So we're going to give him another 24 hours um, to see if it settles down. It's settled down pretty quickly so far. Atmosphere, a bit of a relief. <coughs> were, you, were you fearing the worst for a Yeah, yeah, a little bit because he had. Uh, Injuries at the start of the season and his ankle really, so I was concerned with that. When it wasn't that, I was quite happy and now it seems that it's not as bad as it, as I say, could have been. But I won't absolutely count my chickens, but um, hopefully he'll be involved tomorrow, if not, for the weekend. Is Marcus Alonso ready to return? Yes, he's fit and in the squad. You talked to, obviously you were frustrated after the, the game at the weekend, saying, you know, we can't practice finishing anymore. Does that hasten the need to bring in an attacking player in this January window? I think it hastens it. I think it's uh, it's just the, the case of uh, we couldn't do any business in the in the summer window. So um, at this point, I think it's something that we've seen as being a bit of a problem over some of our home games that we've haven't scored. So I think there are two things to do: firstly, work hard with the group here, and secondly, from a club point of view, my point of view, if we can improve it in areas in terms of goal scoring, then I think it's something we we for, for sure have to look at. If it perhaps you know can't be practiced enough, is it something a mental thing that you can perhaps put your finger on? Is it it's something that they have to overcome in the mind? No, I wouldn't just isolate it as that. I think is a is uh, many things, um, and sometimes as a team you can work to get yourself up the pitch and then in the 18 yard box and creating chances and then you do rely on that those moments of, of instinct, of killer instinct, of, of um, being calm or whatever it may be to put the ball away and it's something that we've fallen short of. So uh, as I say, I think you can practice it but we certainly need to get better if we want to continue to look upwards because there's a, there's a slight ceiling if you can't do that last bit. It's all good getting into the 18 yard box a lot. Um, but to finish the job is um, is the gold. It's what makes the difference. Is there anything imminent then in terms of incomings at the moment? No, not absolutely imminent. No, we're looking, and um, but nothing to tell you that, that might happen right away. I saw last night uh, the PSG director Leonardo saying that Edinson Cavani has, has asked to leave in this window. Is he someone that you are potentially looking at? He was a great player. Um, <clears throat> played against him and. Um, I always loved his mentality and his attitude and obviously his goal scoring record speaks for itself. I'm not absolutely aware of what the situation is, so we'll see. His experience, would that add to the group though? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's an experienced player, but so are many other players out there. So, you know, I think we are um, young as a squad and we know about the transition. So yeah, the idea of bringing in experience is something I'm certainly not um, looking absolutely away from because I think sometimes the younger players need a bit of help and if that's the case, then that may help us. And in terms of outgoings, where are we at with uh, Giroud and there's got a lot of chat about uh, Victor Moses at kind of actually maybe going to Inter Milan as well? Yeah, I mean with um, with Oli there's not much more to say than I've kept saying that there's you know we know there's been discussions and the idea that he may move on but it needs to be right for everyone and at this point it isn't yet. Um, and uh, on Victor Moses, he's he's obviously coming back from his loan with a view to go elsewhere, and those talks are ongoing as well. John, Thank you. Frank, what did you say to the players after the game on Saturday? So it must have been pretty flat. Wasn't it? Yeah, and and I felt for them because it certainly wasn't for the lack of effort um, and push and, and drive. I mean, we pushed um, for big big parts of the game, um, and I won't keep saying the same thing. But you know, we, when we had chances, we didn't take them, and that was clear. And that would have won us the game, um, for sure, I think, because I think then at that point it would have changed the dynamic when you leave a team still in the game, that what happened can happen. And we didn't defend the cross right, we should have headed it away and I think we could have probably saved it with Kepa with a chance. Um, so those little moments are obviously crucial, but I didn't want to, there's no point in me being negative about that. I think I would be negative if I felt there was a lack of effort, a lack of something. There wasn't, they gave everything and it just didn't happen for us on the day.
You mentioned Kepa. How, how would you assess him this season? Because obviously he did come in for criticism on Saturday. No, I'll, I'll always defend all the players and I think if there are individual errors I think the players are the first ones to hold their hands up and I think goalkeepers should be as well it's quite an isolated it's a difficult job because the spotlight is really on you individually um, and at times he's had made good saves for this season and at times he'll say he wants to do better so that's uh, like because he is still relatively young as a goalkeeper and he wants to improve as he should do and be on himself and um, yeah I think he can improve as much as all the team and we can improve is it good to play so soon afterwards or could you have done with a, a few more days after that? I'm not sure. It's the same for Arsenal. <laughs> so from our point of view, yeah, we want to go and, and get a win. Obviously, it's going to be a very tough match. Um, so I don't know about the, the space in between games. It's the same. So we just, obviously, after defeat, you do want to change the feeling and get a win straight away. What have you made of Arsenal this season? Have you been surprised by their struggles? Um, well... <sighs> I say struggles. This Premier League is proving so competitive, you know. And there are other teams that are in and around. You know, a lot of teams fancied Tottenham fancied to be in the top four, and Arsenal fancied to be in the top four because they normally do contest it. They still can do. So there's no, there's no. You wouldn't. I wouldn't want to say anything is definite at this stage of the season. So, um, yeah, it's it's their problem, not mine. What I do know when I come up against them is that they're a good team with good players who can. Who can hurt you? You see, I think a bit of a change since Arteta's been in with some of their performances. Uh, we felt that in the first 30 minutes at the Emirates, particularly. So we must be on guard and be at our best. James, Frank, in terms of players coming in and transfers, are you willing to look at maybe short-term fix, or does it need to be right for the long-term project here? I think long-term in January is it was very difficult. Um, we haven't seen so many. There are some deals. There are, haven't seen so many that are that come in so I think if that's difficult um, then short term is certainly something I think we would look at because I think there are um, issues that are pressing for this season for us now to finish where we want to get to so in that term if you have to look shorter term then it's something we are looking at. You spoke on Saturday about the players maybe need to take a bit of pressure off Tammy being the, the main goal scorer. Do a lot of the midfielders have the same mentality that you had as a player and want to get in the box and, and score? Well, everyone's different. I wouldn't want to compare with my mentality, but um, I think from midfield we've had a we've had a fair share of goals, a few here and there. I think from wide areas we can get more. I think if you look at the successful teams over the last two, three, four seasons in the Premier League, the numbers of goals from their wide areas have been pivotal in what they produce um, because it changes games. So not just to put it on them. I think we can have competition to try and score goals from all areas and on the pitch. And at the minute, as I say, it's more. Uh, probably our goal record probably doesn't stack up terribly against other teams in the Premier League but it's more that we are controlling a lot of possession and creating a lot of chances that's the chance conversion is the, has been the issue Just finally from me in terms of Mikel Arteta he's had just over a month now what have you made of his impact and what type of Arsenal team you're expecting to face tomorrow compared to the one you faced in December? Similar I think, uh, I think his effect was pretty Quick, it was quite sudden. I felt it when we played them. I think it was small tactical changes and uh, and, uh, and maybe a boost, or an energy boost that can sometimes come with a change of manager. Um, but from his side, I'm sure he wants a lot more time. So I think they are a good team. I think they are. He is a good coach, and he does deserve and will get time, obviously, to get it right. But I think already he has a, had an effect, and uh, I'm under no illusions about how tough the game will be. Okay, last question, Nick. Um, Frank, so with, just with Kepler, did he, you know, you say obviously people take responsibility for their mistakes, did he sort of say that was his fault? Then? I didn't have a direct conversation with him after the game on that one. I know, it's obviously goalkeeping situations are amplified, aren't they? A bit like if a striker misses a chance that the goalkeeper makes a mistake, it's more obvious than it is for other players. Is, it, is, it, is that the big transition for, like you say, he's still relatively young, for a guy to go from good to great? Um, is it... Is it is the hardest thing with that for him to sort of just forget about all of that? Oh, I'm sensitive to the fact that goalkeepers are, as I said before, under the microscope, and that is that brings another element to it. And, uh, and I appreciate that can be tough, but I, you know, I think it's like any player, like you say, a striker that maybe it's not going for him. I think the only thing to do is to work hard and keep your head down and be and be humble about how you work. And that's kind of what I try and push with everybody here to do that. So that doesn't change for position by position. 
Um, he's a good goalkeeper, we know that. And uh, there have been times this season where he saved us points and with some of the clean sheets and you're happy. And sometimes when we go, OK, is that an individual error or is that a team error? That can happen as well. And sometimes the goalkeeper takes the brunt of the fact that we haven't defended right as a team. So there are lots of different circumstances. And I don't want to dwell on it like it's a negative, it's a reality. We have to be honest, um, as, a, as, a, as a, all of us here. And if things don't go right, how can we make it better? So you just have to keep, keep on keeping on effectively. Yeah. yeah, I like the. I like the. Is that a play on words or not? Keep it. Keep it. I don't know. Yeah, okay. something like that. Carry last one. Thanks. Frank, a bit of a coach's union question for you. But um, Marcus Rashford out with a double back fracture. A lot of speculation is whether he has been, whether he should have been <clears throat> played beforehand. If that exacerbated the injury, but with backs in there's such a delicate issue, how difficult is it for managers to really have all the injury? Yeah, you can't criticise a manager for making a decision like that. Marcus Rashford has been an incredible form this season scored nearly 20 goals at 19 goals um, a huge factor in their team and um, with hindsight is the most beautiful thing and if you've got a player there that wants to play and has issues I have that every week there's probably somebody in your, in your team that's like that you have to make decisions and uh, I think I've, I've heard managers get slated when they um, turn away from the FA Cup and play a second string team and now I'm hearing managers getting slated for bringing on what could be one of their most important or best players to try and win a game in the FA Cup. You can't have it always. OK, thank you, cameras off.